The material your backpack is made of, how it's zipped, and the way you wear it can all make a huge difference in how vulnerable it is to a thief. But a simple movement can bring all of those defenses together and make a pickpocket think twice before choosing you as their next target. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you a security move that you can add to your bag of tricks that's effective, really easy to do, and can protect your valuable items in tight spaces. And it all, it all comes down to a wiggle. Backpacks and day packs are one of the most difficult pieces of travel gear to secure for a few reasons. One, they're mobile, so your backpack gets exposed to a lot of people, much more than if it's sitting alone in a hotel room. And two, backpacks are often designed to be light, so the materials used for the exterior and the straps might be vulnerable to being cut. Three, backpacks are conspicuous, they stand out, and it's pretty obvious when you're wearing one. And four, backpacks are usually out of your line of sight because they're on your back, which happens to be one of the least sensitive parts of your body. It's these last two points and vulnerabilities that we're going to focus on and where this wiggle trick comes in most handy. When you're walking around in open spaces, it's fairly easy to keep your backpack secure. There aren't a lot of people around you, and if someone approaches you somewhere within your line of sight or peripheral vision, it's likely to catch your attention. But in tighter spaces, like crowded town squares, metro cars, or markets where your senses are distracted and there are people all around, things get a little bit more difficult. So the first step is to tighten your backpack straps as much as comfortable and get your backpack to sit high up on your back. That's not only better for your posture and lower back muscles, it also puts more pressure and increases the contact area your backpack straps have on your upper trapezoids. The trapezoids are these muscles which go across the top of your back, also down the center, and they happen to be where you have the most sensitivity and the most nerve endings on your back. This is important because if somebody tries to sneak into your backpack, you're more likely to feel the movement if it happens up here rather than down here. Tight backpack straps will naturally make unnatural movements like side to side more perceivable since the movement across your shoulders is more likely to get your attention. But even if you wear your backpack on your front in tight spaces, it can be tough to keep an eye on it, plus your pockets and not step on people all at once. And this, this is where you wiggle. In tight spaces, a random little wiggle like this can be just enough to throw off a stealthy pickpocket hand. Pickpockets often work by distracting your senses with a bump or a push, which in empty spaces would be weird and definitely set off alarm bells, but on a crowded subway is normal and expected. Pickpockets are looking for a moment of distraction and time it with rhythm. The regular jostling of the train or people moving on and off at a stop, just watch people's backpacks the next time you're on public transportation and you'll see it too. You'll notice that as metro cars sway or people walk around or go up and down escalators, that their backs and their backpacks are relatively stable. That lack of motion means a standing target in a lot of ways, and for a pickpocket, the additional movement or random wiggle that you would add makes it more of a deterrent, makes it just more of a difficult target, and they're very more likely to just move on to the backpack that's easier to get to. They know most people's movements are predictable and can time their movements with the rhythm of yours. But you can easily add some chaos, some unpredictability to your movements, all with a wiggle. This is something I've done for years and I've actually seen it work in action. Remember, the backpack wiggle is just that. It's just a little wiggle like that on occasion. It's not a constant motion that you're not just constantly shaking everywhere. And the motion comes from your shoulders. So you want to just kind of add this little motion from your shoulders from time to time. In cases where you're on a crowded metro, crowded town square, like I said, where there are people around you, around your things, you can just do that to, you know, just to do also a little bit of a spot check to make sure that your bag feels the same, that it feels like everything is there, feels tight, there's no restriction, there's no hand that's, you know, on your bag or anything like that. And if you want to add more security, you can just move your backpack around to your front like this and also add the wiggle there too if you need. A random little movement, a few centimeters side to side on occasion, about every few seconds makes you a moving target in a sea of statues. Pickpocket hands are generally repelled by these kind of random motions because a pickpocket wants to be quick and stealthy. Although the backpack wiggle might seem like a small thing, and it is a small thing, just a few centimeters side to side, it does two things that pickpockets and thieves don't like. They don't want to spend too much time making the steal, and they don't want to get noticed to get caught. So this backpack wiggle does two of those things. 
One, by making your motion just a little bit less predictable. It takes the amount of time a pickpocket would take to get into your bag since it's a little bit of a moving target. That's not very easy to predict where the openings of the bag are gonna be. And the second is it's a little bit conspicuous. The more time the pickpocket or thief takes, it's gonna allow more time for somebody to notice them trying to get into your bag. If it's a little bit more difficult, they might not be as smooth or as stealthy. And those are the things that are gonna make the pickpocket just simply choose someone else. Now, another thing to note about the backpack wiggle is it doesn't have to be a super exaggerated motion. You don't wanna look like a weirdo. It's just a small little thing. It's just a small little thing. So like if you're on the Metro and it's bouncing, you're just adding a different kind of bounce in a different direction and that's a little bit less predictable for a pickpocket or a thief. It changes your rhythm compared to the rhythm of all the other people who are on the metro or on the bus or in the park or walking around. It makes your rhythm a little bit different and a little bit more tricky to steal. By moving a little side by side, you increase the space you take up ever so slightly and the difference between a few centimeters can move you out of a thief's hand range buy you a few seconds, and a pickpocket is likely to move on. Now the backpack wiggle works if it's just one strap, although two straps is always better, or if you have the bag on your front. You can hold it like this when you're in the metro or somewhere crowded, and you can do a little bit of a slight wiggle, especially if you see somebody's hands a little bit uncomfortably close to your things. Just a little bit of a wiggle like this, they're gonna think twice. They're gonna just basically, it's gonna be more difficult of a target. So this works whether the bag is on your front, or the bag is kind of on your side, or the bag is on your back. You can add to the effectiveness of the backpack wiggle by wearing your backpack on your front when you're in crowded spaces, and make sure that you have your backpack zipped up so the zippers meet high at the top. Higher up is closer to eye lines and harder for a pickpocket to work with. Now something I like to do on the metro or when I'm out in sightseeing and I need to check Google Maps and I don't, you know, maybe I need to do a quick map check, is I like to lean up against the wall. So you can see that my backpack is leaning against the wall and that reduces the uh, attack surface, the attack vectors that somebody could get into my bag. By doing this, somebody can't get into my bag from behind. Basically, the only way somebody could approach me is within my peripheral vision. So it's just one more added way to protect the things in your backpack. It's just a little bit more, you know, you blend in a little bit more. It's a little bit easier. It's just going to make things a little bit more comfortable for you when you're checking things on your phone, for example, or you want to take a break or you're where it's very, very crowded. It's better to be up against the wall and not in this sea of people. The backpack wiggle isn't going to stop all thieves and isn't a single solution to solve the problem of pickpocketing. The backpack wiggle is part of your backpack security strategy, a tool, a tool in your arsenal to make you a less attractive target to thieves. Remember, you don't have to outrun the lion, you just have to outrun the person next to you. I hope this video is helpful for you and I hope you incorporate the backpack wiggle into your backpack security strategy. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week and I'll see you in the next video.